All right, guys, so I got my piece of wood here. It's got two coats of clear on it already, and uh, I just took a piece of 320 uh, shop roll and knocked the high spots off so it's nice and slick. And now we're going to go ahead and tap the magnets into their bores and put a screw in them to hold them in place. So this is pretty straightforward. Kind of half-assed started there. I got my this is the soft side of this hammer. I'm just going to tap it in there until it's flush. And then I got a piece of this is a piece of nylon. I'm just going to tap with the hard side of the hammer. Pull all the way around the edge and I can feel that it's just below the surface, which is what I wanted. Now I'm going to take me an itty bitty little number six machine screw made out of brass. It's really uh, just for looks because that thing is well and truly in there just from a press fit, but I'm going to go ahead and run a screw in there so it looks nice. And ideally all these drives would line up, but uh, I think that's uh, probably asking a little bit too much out of the flying fickle finger of fate. So that's pretty close. And that's how we'll do it. I'll do the whole thing. I'll bring you back when I got it all together. Here we are, guys. Got the magnets in, got all my screws down, everything is just barely below the surface of the wood so it won't scratch the knife blades. And uh, it works pretty good. I mean, this ain't a chef's knife, but you get the picture. It takes about, I don't know, three pounds of force maybe to break it off of there. So I think we're in good shape. I'm going to go ahead now, it's all together, I'm going to clear over this a couple more times uh, to see, you know, so that the magnets don't. Uh, pick up any crud and uh, the screws don't tarnish so uh, that's just going to be literally watching more paint dry so I'll bring you guys back after I'm done with all that probably be a day or two because there's a lot of paint to be done and uh, then we'll put her together okay guys I got uh, clear on the back side of this thing it's all uh, nice and slick and ready to go so before we clear the front for the second time I'm going to go ahead and install the base weights or pucks or whatever the hell you want to call them. They're, uh, they just sit down in these little bosses that we made and you see they've got a, they've got a step to just going to set down to register in them. I'm just going to go around the edge of these and try to find a side that kind of looks the best. And uh, drive them in there. That's all there is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the rest of these. Now these two up here are for the mounting ones that the cap screws go through, so we'll leave them till later. I got this one that I got a buggered up spot on around the edge, and uh, that was the first one I done. And when I touched off, I touched off a little vigorously. So, but I got one here in the center that's not going to show from any direction. So that's where I'm going to hide that one. Okay, so these are they're pretty well in there. I kind of hate to drive these other ones in and leave them un, unbound, but uh, we'll see. I think I'm going to leave them so I don't end up making a big mistake here. So now we're going to flip this thing over gently. All right, so now we got our base. we got us some machine screws here, some quarter 20s. We're just going to screw these in from the top to secure everything in place. That looks nice. Okay.
All right, that looks pretty nice. Now, before I go take these over to get paint or uh, cleared again, I'm going to clear over the top of all this so they don't tarnish. I think I am going to go ahead and drive them other two weights into place on the bottom. That way they get whatever clear they get from the outside, they get the same as the rest of the weights. So, go ahead and do that now. this work is done, uh, each one of these will get a little patch of rubber on the bottom of it so it don't go scooting around. Okay, so there we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this back across the way and we'll paint it. All right, guys, here it is. We're all finished. Thank you, Jeebus. I didn't think this project was ever going to end, but we got it done. And uh, you can see here, I got me some uh, decidedly unculinary knives stuck to it so you can see what, how it's supposed to work, what it looked like. They come off pretty easy, even when they're stuck to two magnets like that one was. This thing fought me to the bitter end. I had a hard time with the, the paint or the clear. I'm a terrible painter. And uh, I'm probably a worse painter than I am a woodworker. And this project had both. So it took at least twice as long as it really should have. But, you know, most of that was just spent watching or waiting for paint to dry. So anyway, I got her all slicked up now. It looks nice and it's done. I'm going to quit working on it while it looks good. I'm going to give it to the nice lady. Hopefully she likes it, and all will be well. So, thanks for watching, guys.